Now a more general form of uh, conditional and that is um, you know in the if statement we basically have just one condition and either it's true or false but you know there might be several uh, conditions so let's have an example here and that um, I define a function which will give me a string based on the type of the argument it's given. Okay, so x is the unknown, and here comes cond. And cond works the following way. You have a condition, let's say whether it's a number x, and then you have a consequent. but you can have another condition for example is this a string or you can have um, well, let's say is this a vector a vector or it might be a function and also say I can put the last one which is just true and I have no idea okay so let's try a couple of examples okay it's a number a string. So what if I give it a vector? Oh, it's a vector. Let's do a bit of a self-reflection. And um, oh, it turns out that there is a, a Maria function. What is okay? We will try that one as well. So what is it? Let's I give it an empty list. Oh, I don't even need to quote the empty list. No idea oh, because this one doesn't know. Okay, so let's see how how this works. I have cond and then pairs. Okay, condition consequent pairs. And there can be any number. So now it's very important that um, the way it is um, sort of evaluated, it's not that it's all conditions evaluated at once, but it's, um, it goes in order. So it receives x and asks oh, whether this is a number. If it's a number, we return the corresponding consequent. So you say it's a number and the rest is just forgotten. And we don't need to do anything. So we go down in the conditions until we find one that returns true. And then we return the corresponding consequent. So let's say it's at the end. Um, I have this... Um, condition which is just literally it says true so if nothing no condition were before we can just catch this one but it's the order is important so if I 
if I did this. So I put this as a very first condition. Okay. So now it's just nothing works. Why is that? Because no matter what I do, this will always evaluate to true. Well, it's just written true. So it will, we will always return the consequence. No idea. Therefore, we have to make sure that we do it in the right order. Which might be sometimes tricky. And now, as the question is like, uh, if you need to choose um, which one to have, if someone wants to erase one of the conditionals, which one you choose? Should you choose if to be erased or cond? Which one is more general? Well, sure, cond is more general. So basically, I can write the absolute value function using cond. Just as we did for if. So now I have con So what was it? Zero. Then um, then I just return a. Otherwise, well, you know, I can just put true here. I return negative a. Okay. So our if statement is is rather special. Expected. So cond is more general, cond can do the work of if. While, um, yeah, you can do the other way around, but you will need lots of nested ifs. Okay, that's a good exercise. Can you do cond with ifs? Well, it's going to be a bit of an exercise of managing parentheses, so you may not want to do that. 